what's up people we are back with more of WAS the hourglass of Lepidoptera we are reaching the conclusion I'm not entirely sure how long or how many videos there are left but I checked the image gallery and there are about six images left so I'm not entirely how uh, sure how many videos that's going to be so yeah just letting you guys know that you should prepare for the ending at least not that you'll be blindsided and don't see it coming, but yeah. Um, in the previous video, our battle, epic battle with Hisui concluded, which somewhat unfortunately, unfortunately resulted in Hisui dying. Which, yeah, I don't know if that was our plan, but we wanted to defeat her at least. Lin has sort of bad blood towards her, so she didn't mind the fact that she died. But, I mean, Tadayoshi, who was a person that probably... I mean, he was a sheltered kid, right? And then now he actually sort of... He didn't actually kill her because he was actually trying to stop Hisui's own hand, who was being controlled by someone else or something else, from stabbing Hisui herself in the chest, which eventually he couldn't, but still, being so close to it, he might somewhat feel responsible or something. I don't know, but... Yeah, um, Lin was actually... Uh, she fell into a coma after, after that battle, and... Um, after thinking back a little bit, it actually, it, the game sort of pointed out, or actually the mysterious man did, that after Lin uses her power every time, she she becomes sleepy. So she uses it a lot throughout this battle, which is why she actually, you know, she, she isn't sleepy, but she's actually in a freaking coma. So, dang, that's uh, pretty tough considering we want Lin to live and... Who knows if she'll ever come out of that coma. But yeah, let us continue. While fighting with Lin, I could sense what she saw and thought. So, the power to share consciousness must refer to that. No, it seems you're quite troubled. How about making a deal with me? Deal? Huh? Why should I do that right now? I didn't expect him to say that. Enough with his nonsense. My offer to you is the way to wake that woman up. How does that sound to you? <gasps> do, do you know something about it? Yes, I do. I know of the way to awaken someone with the spirit of the butterfly. Spirit of the butterfly? Like this is the first time where a person who seemingly knows more about it has mentioned it and he mentions it as spirit of the butterfly so someone with the spirit of the butterfly that's someone who possesses that I don't know if it's necessarily a power or something but of, or if the butterfly chooses us or something or we're connected to it somehow but I have it Tadayoshi has it uh, and Lin as far as we know so spirit of the butterfly then tell me what you want I want to hear that right now I'll do whatever you want, if I can really wake Lin up. He's offering me a deal, so he wants something from me. Is it my money, my life, or my very existence? It doesn't matter to me. I am ready to give him anything he wants. Well, we may get unwelcome guests here, so we should talk later. Come on, I want to know how to wake her up, now! Tell me! How about tomorrow? I mean, today? Meet me at the park, close to the famous local Zaibatsu. He doesn't listen to me and goes on talking about his own thoughts. By the way, you can call me, well, the merchant. Please, address me that way. So he's merchant. I will be waiting for you in the place I mentioned this afternoon. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey! I'm not finished! Dang, he just vanishes. The man in black, calling himself the merchant, turns around and then melts into the darkness. Merchant, huh? He must be joking! I assume that's his way of saying he's doing business. Now, I have to bring Myrna and Alan back to the church. I have to take care of Lin and the others before I can deal with the merchant. Uh, 
Ah, Myrna, has the hypnosis worn off? Hypnosis? What? You, what's that? With Hisui's death, the hypnosis the children were under is gone. Alan and the other children wake up at once and are confused to see themselves in an unfamiliar place. Myrna, I'm glad you're fine. Womp. Aww. Tadayoshi, you're holding me too tight. I hug Myrna as hard as I can. Calm down. I am really happy that she's okay. R Rosani would be upset if she finds us doing this. You are Rosani's prince, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Is that an important matter right now? But it relieves me to hear that. So I brought all the children in the building to the church. I'm returning them home with Rosary's help. Alan, Myrna, and I carried Lynn back to the church. All three of us, yeah. I was wondering, I'm glad the hypnosis wore off because I was thinking like, how are we alone going to carry Alan, Myrna, and Lynn to a safe place? But luckily, uh, with I guess Hisui dying, all the children were able to wake up. Uh, so yeah, uh, back to the church as she hasn't woken up. Will she wake up tomorrow? As if nothing really happened today? On my way back to the church, I certainly hope so. We took Lin to a bed in the church. The night is over, and it's already afternoon, but Lin doesn't seem to be waking up. She is still sleeping, breathing peacefully. Oh, as long as she's breathing, then it's fine. Oh my god, look at that. T Tadayoshi kun, how is Lin? She's still sleeping. Okay. Rosary answers with a sad expression. She seems to be frustrated at not being able to do anything for Lin. Well, it's about time. I haven't set an exact time to meet with the merchant, but it is afternoon already, so I should expect to see him soon. Rosary, can I leave Lin to you? Uh, are you going somewhere? Rosary is looking at me, doubtfully. I didn't tell Rosary about the merchant. I don't want her to get involved with him. Yeah, you got a thing to do. Hmm? Rosary looks at my face, carefully. Seems like you have your own idea for that. Hey, you sound like Lin. It was like Rosary read my mind. I wish I could read someone's mind like Lin, but I can't because I can't figure out where you are going. <laughs> Only Lin can do that. But Lin cannot read the minds of other telepaths, which includes me. Well, I'm not going to tell Rosary about it. But remember this, Tadayoshi-kun. You are not alone. You have people to rely on when you're concerned. Understood? Understood. Thanks. I leave the room after saying a thanks to Rosary. She didn't stop me from leaving. I am happy that she understood me. I don't know what the deal that the merchant mentioned is. I don't want to plunge Rosary and the others into danger. Isn't this the place he wanted us to meet? This is also where we met with... Um with Lise and uh, Nina before they, I, I'm not sure if they actually left but that's when she sort of broke things off with me or just saying that she needed to return to Germany for her own safety. I visit the park near the Kurokawa mansion. It's where I talked with Nina before. I don't know why the merchant decided to meet here. There's nobody besides me. It's kinda creepy. The sun is still high. So it's not strange to find pedestrians or children playing around. But the park.
park is silent, and I am alone here. I even feel uneasy, as if I am in a different dimension. But considering what we are talking about, it's better for both him and me. I think it's too convenient that the park is like this, but I shouldn't think too much about it. <laughs> you have come, as promised. I hear that despicable voice from somewhere. Yeah, you're late. I'm sorry about that. I had a previous appointment. Did she wake up? <laughs> wow, he's taunting me. He asked me in a very artificial way. That attitude makes me more irritated. Come on, you already know the answer. Can't you even guess from the fact that I am here? I can. So, tell me more about this deal you mentioned. I guess he's going to be using me to commit some kind of crime. A crime like fraud or trafficking drugs. But I'll do whatever I must to wake Lin, even if I get my hands dirty. You can lower your guard. I am not going to ask you to do anything bad as assassinating someone or committing a crime. I'd get in trouble if you got noticed for doing something like that. What? So he gets in trouble if I got noticed? That means that he is sort of... Or at least he feels somewhat res responsible for us, right? Because he knows... This means that we are connected to him. If we get in trouble, that means he indirectly gets in trouble as well. That's, that's sort of what it comes down to, I feel. Why would he get in trouble if I committed a crime? I have no idea. But if that's not his angle, then what does he really want from me? Uh-huh. You used big words before, but now you're trying to be kind to me. So, what do you want me to do? <laughs> it's very simple. Remove your existence from this world. That's it. Remove my existence? Huh? You want me to die? Oh dear. Is that what you thought I meant? I don't want you to die. I want your existence removed. If you die, people will remember you. And I don't want you to be remembered. I have no idea what you are talking about. Can you explain? Okay. In basic terms, leave this place. It's that simple. Live in the other world without getting involved with anyone. What does he mean by other world? If you do so, I'll give the woman with the spirit of Veritas her time back. In other words, if I leave everyone behind, you'll wake Lin up? Is that it? I'm still confused. But he's using weird terms like other world and remove existence. But I think he meant it that way. That is right. <gasps> it's much worse than I expected. I won't be able to meet people I've befriended. Lin, Rosary, Nina, Lise, the children of the church, and everyone else. Not much time has passed since I was considered dead and my existence became unclear. But he's asking me to part with everything that I've gained since then. <laughs> you seem to be dithering over it. I have arranged everything for you to disappear without causing trouble to anyone. Well, I will give you one day to think it over. When you are ready to leave this world, come here again tomorrow morning. Now, if you'll excuse me. The merchant disappears as he finishes speaking. He literally disappeared into nothing, as if he didn't exist here at all. What a creepy guy he is. So that pretty much has to confirm that there are that there are different worlds, right? He wants us to be to remove our existence from this current world and sort of just leave this world behind, not and people that people don't actually know about it and then go to the quote-unquote other world but what other world is that exactly is that where all the other people with the spirit of the butterfly are or something or is it like 
his worlds or I don't freaking know what <sighs> after that I didn't feel like returning to the church and I realized that I am in the slums remove my existence my current existence isn't very clear to the public I am considered dead <laughs> so much has happened that I nearly forgot that I woke up in the church lying on an old musty bed nobody recognized me at, as Tadayoshi Kurokawa Nina was the only exception to that it was after that that I first really got to know Lin, if I remember right. I played a game of coin toss with Lin. It happened quite recently, but it feels like it was a long time ago. I won that game, and Lin decided to train me, as she had promised. At first, I was too weak to catch up to her, but through the training with Lin, I actually feel like I've grown up. Oh my god, the memories. Many things really happened around me, and I will be gone from the memories. Oh, is that you, Tadayoshi kun? What's with the sad face? Do you want a hug? I'm sure my muscles can comfort you. <laughs> the one thing that I'm missing, yeah? Because I have this really weird and strange mental image of the man in the jumpsuit, considering how he's portrayed in, you know, the text. But one thing that I'm really curious is about, about is how he would actually look like. So I'm hoping one of the CG images to be of the man in the jumpsuit. <laughs> I really hope that's the case. Just, just be, I wanted to see if, it, if my mental image actually matches. Oh my god. No, absolutely not. And hey, what are you guys doing drinking during the day? I find myself visiting the stalls where people gather. If I were living in the Kurokawa mansion as Tadayoshi Kurokawa, I wouldn't get a chance to talk with them like this. Or rather, they would be hating me for being part of a rich family. It's a strange bond between them and me when I come to think about it. Come on, what happened? I see you're blushing. Knock it off. It just feels like something's different with the kid over there. He used to look like a kid, but now he seems to have grown up. I don't feel any particular way about that. I still can't protect anyone yet. There are things to do before I consider myself a real man. By the way, I saw Myrna in the church not long ago. I'm so glad she's back. Yeah, thank you for all your help yesterday. Without the information they gave me yesterday, I wouldn't have been able to find Myrna and Lin. I can't thank them enough for that. No problem. Though if you're really grateful, We'll let you pay for our drinks. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't have that kind of money. If I accept the merchant's offer, this is the last time I'll be able to talk with them like this. It makes me sad when I think about it. Oh, gotta head back to the church. Thanks for the chat, everyone. I can't stay here forever. I can't tell Rosary and the others about the deal, but I want to stay with them at least a little longer. Hey boy. The master of the stall calls out to me as I'm leaving. Come back when you're old enough to drink. I'll give you the special stuff. Okay, can't wait. The master says he'll serve me something special when I'm old enough. Did he notice something about me? It almost sounded like he knows I'm going away. Hey, Master, why did you tell him that? You made it sound like Tadayoshi Kun is going somewhere. I don't know, but I've lived long enough to notice a lot. Chalk it up to intuition. That boy, no, that man, 
had a look in his eyes like he's going to leave, uh, like he's leaving for somewhere. That's the feeling I got. Oh my god. Are we really gonna leave? I, I, why, why did he have to make me an offer like that, you know? Because it feels like, I don't know, just, just everything that he has built up in this new life, Tadayoshi, yeah? He, he seems so, so peaceful and happy and content with his current life. Like, just meeting the uh, meeting Rosary, being part of the, the church, sort of this community in the slums as well, uh, having met Lin, having met all the children in the church. It just seems like, I don't know, his life is now actually so much better than when he was rich, or when he was part of the Kurokama family. And to actually have to remove our existence from that feels like such a difficult choice. But... I think it's something that Tadayoshi is actually seriously considering just because of how much he cares for Lin. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? That's very clear that he just cares so much about Lin. I mean, he was saying he was actually willing to commit crimes and whatnot just to bring Lin back. Or not not, not back because she, she's not dead, but you know, just to wake her up because that's still uncertain whether she's able to wake up from a coma. Oh, but yeah. We're, uh, we'll find out what his choice is going to be in the next video, so thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!